Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would totally drink Danny's milk. I mean, did you see those cow boobs? Oh, hi. Didn't see it there. We all want to create games and make a living out of it, but I'm going to take it a step further and I want to earn one million dollars. Shut the fuck hey, up! Hey! Game development. Is that even possible? Am I even going to reach that number? I don't know, but I'm going to try to get to that number with the games that I'm going to create. I am starting with a mobile game, but I also have plans to create Steam games as well. I've been working on a few projects in the past few weeks, and one of them is very close to publishing. It's a game that we call Pookie Ninja, and well, the name is subject to change, of course. The concept of the game is very simple. It's a stealth game where you sneak up to enemies and you, well, kill them. What else are you going to do to them? Not some naughty things, okay? What I want to talk about here is how to come up with your game idea. So these are a few tips for me. Because you see, we got the idea for this game from the Hunter Assassin game that is killing it on Google Play. But of course, you want to create something on your own. So how can you turn another idea into your own original idea? It's simple, actually. You just tweak a few settings. What we did is we changed the camera angle, we added a timer in our game, we also added a landmine that will kill the player if he touches it. The result... The result... A totally different game even the gameplay itself feels a lot different and if I may say so it feels a lot better I know you're wetting your pants now from seeing how simple it is to create a brand new idea from an existing one what I want to say here is that it's not required that you as a game developer invent something totally new just use a concept that already exists and add a few of your own touches to make it unique this saves you a lot of time of brainstorming ideas of course, if you desire to create something on your own from scratch without looking for any inspiration, that's totally fine as well, but it doesn't make you better from other game developers who don't do that. And besides, which games are original ones? Color Switch? It's a copy of a game called Flight. Crossy Road? It's a copy of a game called Frogger. And I can go on and on, but that will break your little heart of me exposing your favorite game to be a copy of an already existing one. Yeah, I know you've been naughty and playing naughty games, so you can't fool me. <laughs> we also added a little Fall Guys effect to the game by creating levels with a similar style. This gives the game a colorly effect, and yes, colorly is a word, and really makes it feel alive and interesting because I personally have never seen a stealth game with this kind of design. Later on in the development, we experimented... <laughs> with joystick movement to see how that will turn out. Because the angle of the camera that we were using is not allowing the player to have a clear view when he needs to return back, but with the joystick movement we don't have to worry about that. You can just click on the screen and drag your finger in order to move the character in the desired direction and problem is solved. First, I thought that using a joystick will make the game easier, but we enhance the enemies and we will add obstacles in the levels so it will level up the difficulty with the easiness, and yes, easiness is a word, of the joystick movement so that will not be a problem. Currently, we are working on designing more levels and polishing the game and with this video, I want to ask you to leave a comment below with your suggestions, what can be added and or removed in the game and what features would you love to see in this game because ultimately you're going to download this game and play it. We both know that. Another thing that I want to mention here and that is something I talk a lot in my videos is DAMN BOY HE THICK BOY <laughs> Another thing that I want to mention here, don't try to create everything on your own. Instead of me creating a joystick on my own from scratch and experimenting with it until it works, I simply bought a joystick from the asset store for 5 bucks. Then I just added a few lines of code and I made the joystick work perfectly and all that took me around 10 minutes. 
Whereas, if I tried to create the joystick on my own, it would probably take me a couple of hours or at least a day to get the joystick to the point where I find it good for my game. So when you are developing your game, work smart, not hard, and be prepared to invest a little money into your game if you want it to look good. By the way, if you need a joystick for your game, you can buy the one I bought, link to the joystick on the Unity Asset Store is in the description of this video. Now comes the fun part that everybody loves, yay! And that is marketing your game! And of course I know you hate that. The marketing plan is very simple. Since it's a free mobile game, I plan to promote it via my YouTube channel and my friend's Twitter and YouTube channel as well. This is what I was talking about this whole time. In order to push your game forward, you need to build an audience at the same time you're creating your game. Otherwise, it is going to be hard to get downloads for your game just by putting it out there on the App Store. We also plan to publish the game on both Google Play and Apple App Store because it will gain more exposure and we will probably publish it on the Amazon App Store as well because, I mean, why not? Why should I deprive Jeff Bezos from playing my game? I mean... You get the point. I also plan to promote the game via my email list. You've probably seen people telling you to wish list their game. We're the 38 most wish the game on Steam, so make sure to smash with Why well, don't you oh. shut the fuck up or Yes, I'm talking to you, Danny. And cut it out, okay? We list we all wish list Carlson, okay? Well, that is because when the developer publishes the game, Steam will inform you that the game is published by sending you an email, and that can only happen when you click on that wish list button. Well, I took it a step forward and I created my own email list. <laughs> Google Play or any other app store doesn't have an option to wishlist a game, so that is one drawback. But even if they had that option, why should I let Google or Steam send emails to my customers when I can do that instead? <laughs> Where's the money, Lebowski? That's why I advise every game developer out there to start building their own email list. Email is simply the way to go. Over 3 billion people in the world use email every day, and if you are not taking advantage of that, well, then you probably look like this. These are just a few tips for this devlog, and I'm going to create many more videos like this one, where I'm going to show you step by step my road to $1 million with game development. I might get there, I might not get there. I sure hope it does. But I will share everything I know and what I learned so far or on that road so that you can use those same techniques for creating and marketing your own games. Of course, you will use that that works and you know throw away me and everything else that doesn't work okay so yeah if you like this video make sure to smash that subscribe button or i will smash you and don't forget to download the game or otherwise i will well kill you see you guys in the next video stay out of jail so because if you're in jail you will not be able to download my game see you in the next video <laughs>